Hello guys, today we're doing something a little bit different. Instead of the typical why you should watch series, we're tackling the area of the internet that might get you saying why you should not watch this anime. For the first video of this topic, we'll be discussing the anime Wounded Man, which was released on July the 5th of 1986. Furthermore, we'll have a small collaboration with Memes Pharisee and their take on this anime's possible interpretations, so stay tuned. Wounded Man is an action-adventure anime that shifts its focus to a Japanese journalist by the name of Yuko Kusaka. Yuko is a Japanese journalist sent to Brazil to do a report on the gold rush phenomenon that seems to be making many people rich from night to day. Rumors say that among the many gold diggers currently living in the Amazon forest, there is a Japanese person known as Ryo Baraki. Reaching their destination, her crew member is promptly attacked and she is raped as a warning to stop their work and return immediately to their home country. Determined to do her job, she stays and finds out from the attacker that he is none other than Baraki, a white-haired muscular man with a large scar on his back. Later, she discovers that his real name is Keisuke Ibaraki, once a promising quarterback for the NFL. He ended up falsely incriminated by a powerful organization known as GPX. So, after briefly explaining all of that, you may understand how this is just utter trash. It has a lot of illogical loopholes and makes no coherent sense. Also, why is a promising quarterback being targeted by a powerful organization? Nonetheless, this anime, in my goddamn opinion, is absolute trash. The subtitles all have this Chinese knockoff ingurishi feel to them. Words and sometimes whole sentences aren't even translated at all. Everything weirdly has a Chinese name to it, like the translators forgot that the Chinese characters in Japan are pronounced in Japanese. Our main character, Ryo Baraki, is called in the subtitles Liao Huamu. It even goes as far as the anime's A hey? is translated into Oops. American football is translated into Sakor, and it's not even like a forgivable mistake. Ryo is in full American football attire, and being a football player is part of his character. There's not even one Sakor ball in the whole anime to confuse the translators. Within the second episode, I barely could understand what was happening, but the main character, Ryo Baraki, marries the girl he rapes in the first episode, to then cheat on her with some other girl in episode 2 or 3, then decides that his way of moving on with the first one is to wrap the first one up in a blanket while she's sleeping and throw her in the ocean on a boat because that just makes sense, does it not? Furthermore, in the second episode, the subtitles aren't even legible, being typed in a black see-through outline of letters. Although they do fix it by episode 3, however Wounded Man is only an anime consisting of 5 episodes, so it took them over halfway to fix the issue that they have. Congratulations, you f***ed up. Alright, hear me out on this one, sounds a little bit confusing, but the music sounds like what stock music's music for stock music would be. Which is a bit jarring seeing that the animation has its, you know, high quality moments, if you include the, you know, Repetitive rape scenes, Stockholm Syndrome, also naked women and anime titties be popping up every five minutes. I swear to God, it's not a lie, it does pop up everywhere. So, it can be seen as a good anime if you're interested in all those three things. But, you know, the one thing that bothers me is that all the anime titties that be popping up everywhere, it's not even like an arousing way. It's more of a, in a creepily cringe-worthy way that makes you want to desperately click off. The sad thing is, this isn't even classified as hentai, it's more of a serious anime that got let go unfortunately. And for some reason, the director and character design for this anime had zero idea what female clothing is. Like, I, I understand that that's their problem with this anime, they just never knew what female clothing was so they couldn't add any. It's a very hard concept that a lot of people never got through. Anyway, honestly, in my opinion, you should stop watching anything related to this anime after this episode that you watch of course. And I've given you some reasons why not to watch it, so go away. For this anime, Toshio Takeuchi is said to be the director for this anime. But I cannot find anything related to him at all other than this one post from Anime Planet stating that he's only worked on one anime, which is Wounded Man. His career was probably shattered from this anime, and he probably went into hiding. And I think that's honestly a good thing. But it makes me wonder, he probably changed his name and identity and maybe stayed anonymous. He could have renamed himself into someone, for example, Sui Ishida, creator of Tokyo Ghoul, 
who has yet to show his face in public. So, I'm just saying, maybe there's a linked correlation between them? Now, I'm not that great at breaking down possible conspiracies, so I'll pass you on to Meme Spiracy, who might be able to bring some insightful knowledge. As you said, Toshio Takuchi is a mysterious man. Like a cowboy riding off into the sunset. Except in this case, he left a trail of shit and questionable rape scenes. My theory is like many in the film industry, he used a ghost alias. Toshio Takuchi is an anagram. For a cookie? Huh? Tits? You might be thinking, this sounds like nonsense. But, if we break it up into two parts, we see that whoever this person is, they like cookies and get distracted by tits. And the director of this anime clearly likes tits, as we can see many times throughout this garbage anime. So who is obsessed with cookies that we know of? That's right. It's none other than Sesame Street's own Cookie Monster. You might be thinking, I'm crazy. Why would such a lovable child-friendly character direct such perverse content? Well, why do you think he used a ghost alias, working in a different country, and disappeared after just one anime? It's because he feared for his reputation. It is a sad case as it means Cookie Monster is unable to take credit for his pioneering work with this series. The 1999 hit animated film Tarzan is clearly inspired by Wounded Man. Actually, cancel that. Tarzan is clearly a complete ripoff of Wounded Man. You might say there was Tarzan stories long before Wounded Man but that was clearly created by a time traveller from the year 3000, where Cookie Monster has finally been recognised as an equivalent to Shakespeare. Uh, th 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 thank you for that, uh, d meme spiracy. That was, um, definitely an eye-opener, uh, you could say. Um, okay, so for anyone that is really interested in weird meme spiracy related topics that cover almost anything and everything you'd like, go check out meme spiracy in the description below and go sub to him if you'd like. That pretty much wraps up everything. This is your guy's take on Wounded Man and why you should not watch this anime. We're looking to get better with each and every episode, so please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.